All right. Hey, First Sergeant, how you doing this morning? Doing great. Are you eating up that good chow? I'm eating big time. Have you been Have you been home yet? No, I have not. When are you going to meet up with your husband have environmental leave? Uh, in October. Yep. What would you tell people from over here if you had to tell them anything? Tell people in the United States? Yeah, sure. Over here? Well, we're not talking about Puerto Rico, so... I'm Mexican. Well, I'm not, I'm neither. But I mean, any other country, any other place. People at Fort Rucker are probably going to be seeing this, all smart ass aside. That, um, as Americans, the Polish we are united. Okay, get away from the brochure stuff. Give, give me your personal opinion. Excuse me? Do you have something other than what's on the travel brochure? We are blessed. We are truly blessed. And we see the blessings every single day. Um, in, in big ways and in little ways. And uh, right now my heart is really filled. And I'm glad to be able to say on camera that God is good. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. So um, you you came here. I, I kind of know you well from Kuwait. I, I haven't seen you much since we got over here. Got to know you a little bit uh, in Kuwait. Um, I remember when we got off the plane, you had a hell of a start to your visit here in Kuwait and Iraq. Uh, we had been up for probably a day or more straight sitting on a plane. Uh, hadn't had a shower. Hadn't eaten very well. And then one of your soldiers shot his weapon off by accident, of course. And in, in a vehicle. You know that, that was the hand of God that moved that bullet away from that man. Can you imagine what would happen if that bullet? It, it just missed the driver by inches. Yeah. And it missed the passenger sitting right next to him by inches. And that bullet was lodged in the car. Can you imagine? That was the hand of God. Uh, and that was that is one testimony. To I didn't know you were such a spiritual God. person. That's the testament of, of His hand and His blessings on us. Did you put that in your report? Um, what did you put I in your say, report? I didn't have to say report. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. not in that bus. I was the first guard, so I, I had to stay with my soldier during all these questions. Have you had any other serious incidents? That, but that I will say that everybody in that bus who included um, those who were saved and unsaved said the very same thing. Well, I think it was very lucky. I've talked to the soldier as a physician. Well, that's, that's a personal opinion. It's better to be lucky than good sometimes, that's, that's for sure. And uh, whatever. The bus driver, the person, you know, everybody in that bus whose who bullet it missed, uh -huh. when they stepped out the bus, they, they told me the first words out of their mouth, thank God. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, higher powers are always invoked uh, during times of stress and need. Um, there's a wonderful story about the atheist before he's eaten by a lion. and. He's, he's getting ready to uh, to be jumped on by the lion. He says, oh, my God. And all of a sudden, the clouds part. The lion says, doesn't say anything. He just kind of looks up and stops before he's ready to pounce on the guy. And the, um, let's see, the, the uh, voice comes down from heaven and says, now, you've been denying me your whole life. You're about ready to get eaten by the lion. Why do you... Uh, why do you invoke my name now? And the, uh, the atheist says, I've, I've changed my ways. I know it's at the last minute, God, but uh, I feel like I'm a Christian. If I could ask you to do uh, anything for me, make the lion a Christian as well. And God said, says, well, okay. And the clouds close up. And the lion sits down. He crosses his, his uh, paws and says, may we be grateful for what we are about to receive. Humor is good. Humor is good. Laughter is, laughter is good for the soul. Okay. Anything else you'd want to tell people? Um, just the, every day that we wake up, when we have our health and we have each other, let's just rejoice and thank God. Okay. Well, thank you for that insight. Absolutely. It looks like the food was good, too. It's delicious. I'm going to go I'm back. I'm still as irreverent as ever, so I hope you appreciate that, or, or at least don't hate me for it. I don't hate you. I know. Okay. okay. You know I'm the guy that shocked you with that electric electric uh, book. Yes, I will not forget that. I, like I said, humor is good. Humor, laughter is wonderful. You know, I have to tell the, in the camera what this is. It's a, it was a book I put on the out that actually shocks you when you open it. It had a very controversial cover that invoked sort of sexual thoughts. And uh, I gave it to the first sergeant to take to the 
Sergeant Major as contraband during a health and welfare. And as the first sergeant was handing it to the Sergeant Major, First Sergeant Green said, let me see that. And this is, a, I wasn't there. Something like that. Something to that effect. And of course, it, the, book, the book worked perfectly and uh, uh, knocked your socks off. Something along that line, yeah. All right. Well, you, you're a good person, First Sergeant. I'm glad to have known you. And uh, you get home safe as well, okay? You too. Love you. Okay.